Hi guys, welcome back to day six of the CBR Custom Calf Racer. Can't really call it a racer because I'm thinking of keeping these bars. Now if it was going to be a racer, then I have to put clip-ons on it. But, uh, looking at the price of clip-ons, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Looking at these balls, that one seems to be bent down more than that one. Yeah, that one seems to slope down more. With my eagle eye. I'm not sure. To investigate that when we get to it. Oh yes, and a bit of a update on the diversion 900 for you for those of you that have seen the videos of the XJ 900s I have uh, bought a new CDI for it I've uh, bought some repair kits for the carburetors but I need two more so I'm still waiting for those uh, reason I've bought this might not be the problem but you know you've got to eliminate things it was only 20 quid so when I first started the divvy most of the bolts kept snapping so I did all sorts of welding bolts onto bolts allen keys onto bolts and uh, since then I have found out that uh, you should not do any welding to your motorcycle frame if your CDR unit is attached because it can cause some sort of drastic reaction to your CDI unit from the power of the uh, welder probably something to do with the flux capacitor or something like that I don't know no. <laughs> so anyway it's part two of the uh, wiring electrical strip down so let's get on with it Okay, so the first job today, I think I'll try and uh, get this lot off. I think it's going to come off all in one unit, which is nice and handy. So there seems to be a bracket that's going underneath. So one bolt here, one bolt there, one bolt here as far as I can see. So I should be able to get the coils and the thermostat off all in one go. Uh, just to give you a quick look into the thermostat. Have you ever seen anything like it? I don't think that cap has been off in a thousand years, do you? Uh, yeah, somebody's just totally run this bike into the ground, haven't they? So let's get the, uh, I think they're 10 mils, they might, that's a 10 mil, they might be 8 mils. So let's put you back on the tripod and uh, get some tools sorted out. So we've got the uh, 10 mil on the speed brace, let's put this cap back on, just so I don't lose it. Try the first bolt. Came on done pretty easy. You look like they're on rubber mounts. So is that a 10 mil as well? Yes. Yes, I think that's all going to come off in one. Let's try and see the other bolt. That one looks a bit rusty. But it's going. Yep, that's gone.
So hopefully now this should all lift off. I think I'd best to better number this bolt box before I uh, try to do that. Let's disconnect that wire from the uh, thermostatical switch. <laughs> so that's a big word isn't it? Thermostatical. Just get those pipes through. There's another cable going through the middle of them. Just a choke cable to get that out of the way. So, Looks like I'm going to have to disconnect these two. This one's already just disconnected from here. It's black and white and blue and white, or blue and yellow. So I better get the camera a photo of that, or shall I just do it on camera so I know what's what. So, as you sit on the bike, the right coil on the right hand side is the blue and white or blue and yellow and on the left hand side is the black and yellow just for my uh, future references for when I put it all back together looks like blue and yellow and uh, black and white so at least I've got that documented this should all come out now. Oh, now I've got to remember these spark plugs up as well, haven't I? Uh, let me just get some tape and number these spark plugs up. So, get this off. Yep. This will be number one spark plug. Where have my scissors gone? So that's number one. This will be number two. We've got number three. This is number three there, look. What a dickhead. <laughs> uh, number one. <laughs> number two. Number three. Number four. You'll have to excuse me, I'm afraid. Old age is a terrible thing. Anyway, so after we've wasted all that time. <laughs> Let's try and get these bloody pipes out of there. Oh, that's another fairly big piece out of the way. Okay, now let's see where the wiring loom goes to. Okay then. So I think... Uh, get that out there. I think these bits are going to come through here now. through and then we're going to have to work out how to get the fuse box off so now I think we'll try to undo this little cluster underneath the uh, fuse box hopefully you can see in there all right Try and unplug these plugs. I uh, forgot to press on it. Yeah, that's it. That's that one. And that's that one. God, there's only four of them. And all these plug sockets are going to have to live somewhere else because all this headlight subframes going. I'm just having a normal headlight I think. I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to get to these at the back. 
and these clips are at the back. My little fingers won't press them. Got this last red one, I think. I think that's the last one. So that's it. So four of them removed. Cool, you wouldn't have thought it'd be so hard, would you, just to remove the wiring? Okay, so we've got a clip here to move, another clip, down there to move, okay so now we've got to try and get all this through here. Shove all this back through there. So far, so good. Then we're stuck on some of that bloody pipe. Pipe going to the water pump is in the way. Just down there, look, a little pipe in the way, so let me get my pliers. Here we've got the pliers. Not that you can see the pipe, let's just try and remove it anyway. Don't know if you can see it down there. That new rubber pipe. That's it. We should be able to get these through. That's better. Should be alright, should get everything through. He says. So let's try and get that out. Yeah, that's that one. With the looks of this fuse box, it's just attached to this bar. And then this bar is just bolted here as well. So if I get those two bolts undone, see if it makes it any easier. Here's my speed brace with the 10 mil. Come on, Mr. 10 mil, where are you? Ah. I'll do that one first. And then we try to undo this one second. trying to make things easier for people. Okay, so now what? Now we've got to feed all this. Now I've got to feed all this through this bloody clutch pipe. Whew, here we go, that's that. Yeah, this fuse box just has some sort of clip on it, that's it, that's the fuse box. 
Very clever putting it on that bottle so you can get it undone and out of the way. So that's another piece on puzzle. There then. I think these wires were all on their own. Can't see it, can you? I think these wires are all on their own because <laughs> all these plugs are just made for the opposite plug, if you know what I mean. So you can't really go wrong. But when you start getting plugs like this, it can be a bit confusing when you put it all back together. So I think they go to the switch gears. So they're all right for the moment. Let's just look it off this. Oop. They're all to do with the switch gears and the ignition, I think. So now we've got to go around to the front where the headlight used to be. Okay, so we're all going to have to come back around this side. There's a couple more plugs. Well, that was easy enough. They should just come off there. And then we should be able to... Clip back, pull that back. Uh, come back to this side, and I think we're just about there. Another clip on this side. That's it. And I think Mr. Wireloom is free! Yes! That is one big load of wire. So, what next? Okay then, so let's see if we can't move. Move. Let's see if we can't remove the clocks. The ten mil bolt here. I'm going to take the plastic bit off first. I think it's just two uh, cross head screws with my screwdriver. What's <laughs> the chances of getting these undone? You're a bit wibbly wobbly up there. You are actually sitting on the bike. My tripod. Oh. Wibble wobble. It's going. Sounds pretty nasty. Sounds pretty nasty, man. It always helps though when you have the proper screwdriver. It goes right into the slot. As you people keep telling me. But I've already got it. Have you got a gist bit? You sure you're using a gist bit? You got a gist bit? Are you joking, guys? This looks like we're having luck with this bike. This bike isn't fighting us up to yet. Now then. Now then. Does this just lift off? Oh, it's just that bit. Factor. 
I don't know, there's free bolt, but uh, the clocks have snapped down there. Show you what I mean. There's three bolts, one there, one there, and the one under there. You can see, let me see through there, it's actually snapped. The old plastic thing snapped. Look. 56,000 mile. Cool. My white one's catching this up. Now, let's try again, shall we? Number two. Let's see what comes off now. Oh, keep losing bits. Bits keep dropping. So, uh, I think it's this wire cluster here. You can see it. Hopefully, you can see there's a little wire cluster here that's got to come through. And then, of course, it's a speedo cable. So let's put you down here. Put you down here so you can see the speedo cable. Just there if you can see it. If it's not too dark. There's me a fantastic torch. Oh yeah that one's bright. Yes there's the speedo cable. Can we do that with our fingers? Oh yes. Here we go. And hopefully the clock should just come out. So let's see if we can get you into the switch gear screws. Switch gear screws, sounds good that. You can see there's one here and one over there. Oh, everything's coming undone nicely. It's going to be my good luck bike hopefully. I suppose there's a, a little plug on there, isn't there, for the clutch switch. Neutral light switch, clutch switch. You know, stops you uh, putting your main side stand down when you're still in gear. Two little wires on the clutch. If I can do that with one hand. There we go. Hopefully they should just pull off. Uh, left hand gear, left, left hand gear, left hand switch gear removed. So I think that's about it for the wiring apart from the ignition. Uh, before we go, just another thing I'm thinking about doing on the comments to try and interact with you guys who are commenting uh, at the end of each video I'm thinking of uh, putting my most outstanding to me comment on screen as the video closes that makes sense so the comments I get if I find the one I like the most, or the one that is the most stupid, or the one that is the most whatever. As I'm saying goodbye, it will pop.
pop up on screen for everybody to see. <laughs> so, let me know if you're happy with that. And here is the first one. Dirty boy. In this world there are drivers that we will never fully understand. We want answers. It's taken years to build our credibility. I'm Zach Baggings and I never believed in ghosts until I became one. I see you in another life, brother. 